Well, a five-story, 400-space parking garage above the Alapa'i Bus Transit Center is complete. But for the last two months, it's been standing empty. And it may be a while before limited parking is made available. So why? KITV4's Jill Kuramoto explains. It's the most beautiful parking structure in the city, and it's sitting empty, and nobody can park there. So what's the deal? It's a question being asked by many, particularly since the Alapai Bus Transit Center has been operating since May. The $20 million five-story parking structure at Alapai and King Streets is the first phase of the Joint Traffic Management Center that will bring together the city and state transportation agencies. Right now, it's reserved for employees who will work there when it's built. This building, when it's built, will house um, the Department of Transportation Services, Signal, you know, Traffic Management Center, plus the State DOT Management Center, plus Honolulu Police Department, Honolulu Fire Department, and Emergency Services, which are the ambulances, all their dispatchers. Wayne Yoshioka says the design for the Traffic Management Center should be done in about a year, then go out to bid with an operational date of 2015. So in the meantime, why can't the public park in there? The city's transportation director says it's not that simple. A city ordinance has to be amended first to designate it as employee parking before they can charge for parking. Any leftover spaces might be available for non-center workers, but even then, there are restrictions. We have to clarify with the Federal Transit Administration because the land underneath all this was acquired using federal funds. So we have to be very careful who we allow to park in there. The amendment to allow for employee parking is expected to be approved this fall. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. When open, the Honolulu Police Department employees and transportation services workers will have first priority. Then spaces are reserved for City Emergency Operations Center employees.